the goals of this particular community of excellence are to tackle inequities and disparities in global health in a new way. People lack access for various reasons. These include some gaps in science and research, in scaling up solutions that exist to areas that are hard to reach. We're addressing a wide array of challenges. Using what we would like to think is a novel approach. That means working together in teams that they wouldn't have thought they were going to do. Public health students, with engineering students, with architecture students, to try to address sanitation issues. Engineers who are working on air pollution and exposure measurement to work with epidemiologists. There is a need of delivering uh, vaccines to the low resource community. We can help develop solutions of making this logistics uh, become easier. What is close to my heart, for example, is the state of food insecurity or malnutrition or undernourishment both locally in our Western New York community but also globally. There are lots of ways to tackle that and many of those ways have been tried and tested and they have had some success but we're still in 2015 dealing with 800 million people in the world that don't have access to good food. In our community we're envisioning faculty and students working together to develop solutions in several thematic areas. These include child survival, growth and development, non-communicable diseases, infectious diseases, and refugee health. Those are challenges that we see in the city of Buffalo, are challenges that we see throughout the United States and in other regions. And there are things that we can learn from those settings to apply here, and there are things that we can learn here to apply in global settings. What's different about the COE is that the philosophy that underpins it is very much about community-based and community-led efforts. What we want to do is have our faculty and our students influencing the influencers, the, the folks who are actually going to take our solutions and implement them on the ground. Mm -hmm.